All right, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be working on the CNC, and by working on it, I mean literally working on the machine itself. Uh, I've had this, it's the Genmitsu 4040 Pro. I picked it up last year just to kind of test the waters to see if I wanted to get into CNC work. And it's, I think I got it for, I think it was a $500 lightning deal on Amazon. So it wasn't too bad of an entry level. Uh, of course, right off the bat, I had to start upgrading. So now it's got the DeWalt router on it versus the uh, small little uh, motor that it came with. Uh, the one problem I have had with it is after a while I started noticing that the the head, this whole section right here, actually has quite a bit of flex in it. Um, both directions really, but it, mostly when you're moving left to right, it, uh, it'll start chattering. So I went ahead and contacted Genmitsu. After a little bit of research, I found that there was actually a updated carriage for it. Um, so to their credit, the only question asked was, is this correct address to send this to? And a few days later, this showed up. So, so I'm gonna run some, run a test just to show you what it's been doing and then we'll swap this out and see if it gets any better. All right, we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. You can see the new one right here, a little bit taller. This section right in here and up here has been added to this carriage. So hopefully that'll give it a little bit more stability in this direction. All right, so right from the get-go, I can tell you that that is uh, definitely more rigid than what it was before. It's not, it's not flexing there as much. So I've gone ahead and taped down the board this time. I, last time I had tape and clamps on it and it still worked itself loose. So I'm gonna try to, uh, I've, I've got a little extra tape on it this time. Hopefully it won't, won't take off on us and we can get a good cut. So I do have the speeds cranked up and the depth is cranked up pretty good. So it's, it's gonna, it's gonna take a pretty good bite and push it to its limits. Uh, so we'll see if it, uh, if it starts chattering again or if we can actually cut some stuff and get it straight for a change. So let's run it through another test and see what happens. All right, so the difference in the two is amazing. Um, very impressive. This is test number one. You can see it, uh, it completely walked, walked that board right off the, that was just with clamps. Um, it pushed the board out of the way and, and uh, luckily I got to the kill switch in time. This one, uh, that's with tape and clamps. And you can see right, right here at the end, it. Uh, it chattered, chattered itself loose and actually took that corner off. Um, so this, this is our final pass with the new head. And you can see I didn't quite make it through, didn't measure the wood to uh, get my depths proper. But um, yeah, what you can see there, that's, that's pretty much perfect. Um, I think I would still, Probably back the speeds down a little bit, maybe take a little less less of a bite uh, for depth, but I think, I think that's going to fix the problem. So we'll see how it goes. But um, if you have this machine, and especially if you bought it earlier last year, um, check the difference on your on your carriers there and see which one you have. Like I said, it was it was as simple as sending them an email. They they just turn around, and ship me the part right out. So. Uh, that'll get everything fixed up for you. That's gonna do it for this one. And next time we'll, uh, maybe we'll put this thing to use or we'll get into building something else. So till then, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And I put it in the wrong holes. 
start over. For I spent four or five thousand dollars on a uh, big machine. So this is basically it's a small machine, it's a hobby machine, and I've said machine a lot. <laughs>